What's going on YouTube? Mike here again. This time a tool review video for the Harbor Freight Dual Action Polisher. And uh, I'm just as cheap as anyone else, guys, if you guys know me. Uh, because one thing is for sure, Harbor Freight Tools gets the job done. And I'm not going to spend uh, an exorbitant amount of money for something that I'm not going to be using constantly. Um, this item wasn't $7.99, $79.99. Uh, I got a $20 coupon and it was on sale for $59.99. So I said, what the heck? Let me uh, roll the dice and see what happens. And out, right out of the box, guys, when you open this thing and you pick it up, you can feel the plastic, uh, the plastic you feel, and you just know it's cheap. Um, this thing has variable settings, one through six. And, uh, you know, uh, like I said, it, it just doesn't feel of quality, you know, as a lot of Harbor Freight items is known for. Even where my hand is on the top of the uh, uh, the polisher, it's actually, you can actually see a crack. It was cracked right out of the box. Um, but you know what? I'm going to go ahead and test it out because I'm trying to win a car show in my JDM RX-7. And this thing is something that I'm not used to. Um, the DeWalt on the left-hand side is... Uh, a polisher that is a professional grade polisher that I use that I know how to utilize uh, but um, having my RX-7 I didn't really want to uh, you know risk burning through the paint um, and you know it just really doesn't get into really good uh, uh, areas you know it's 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 good for big wide areas but I wanted something a little bit more uh, smaller and more compact um, the Walt is super professional it gives you RPM um, settings so that you actually know the RPM that you're running instead of having it one through six where you don't know how fast it is. Um, but this is my RX-7 and this is the car that we're going to be buffing and polishing. And this car has been painted twice. I've gone through so many headaches getting trying to get this car to look how it looks now. Um, the first shop, terrible paint job. Um, and actually, the it was the 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 guy who cut and buffed it color sanded it did a, a horrific job and you know i'm just the type to be like listen if if i pay you to do the job i want it to look good you know what i mean i want it to look good um i don't want to have to do it why why did i pay you anyway i got it painted a second time and after getting painted the second time um, after about a year of owning it, this is the condition of my paint. Now, let me remind you, um, I've never uh, got this car um, waxed or I, I barely drive it. It's been garage kept for pretty much over a year. So it's probably had maybe 200 miles on it. But this is the finish after getting it painted. Um, I know a lot of, you know, people who paint, you know, they do a, a color sand and try to get it flat for any from any orange peel or whatnot but you know that finish right here you guys you guys see there's a, this is the door um th this is not show quality and after you know when you when you wax something it fills in a lot of these swirl marks and scratches but after it it wears off um you you're gonna really notice these uh swirl marks and this is uh where i come into play um i'm setting up um, putting tape down because I kind of want to show you guys the process of me um, detailing a car and hopefully you can take these these guidelines and utilize it yourself. Detailing is a very time consuming process and I'm telling you right now I'm not a professional detailer but I get amazing results um, and on par with detailers because I take my time. If you take your time and you and, and you you know obviously if it's your car you're gonna do it the right way. Um, if you take your time, um, it's going to be, you're going to do a great job. You're going to do a, a, a show quality job. And, and, and I don't, it's, it's, well, I don't know. I don't think that there's magic to doing this guys. It's just a lot of patience and hard works. And you know, there's not that many tricks that you can do. Um, anyway, guys, these are the uh, polishes that I use in this compound. This is a professional grade polish. One of the best. I use Meguiar's. If you can't find this because there's only at specialty stores, um, the Ultimate series uh, that Meguiar's have is, you know, comparable. Um, the professional stuff, it, 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 it's a little better. 
uh, obviously, but the the Ultimate Series works just fine, and you can get it cheap. You know, you can get them both, maybe about 20, 25 bucks at you know O'Reilly's, uh, AutoZone, uh, Walmart, and uh, this is um, putting compound on the pad. And just to get just to let you guys understand, I'm using the um, the Ultra Cut uh, compound, and just to let you guys know. Um, I'm going to show you the mistakes because I've never used this machine before and I don't really know what to expect. Like I said, it has settings one through six on the speed of the machine. I don't even know what that means, right? I don't even know what that means. And with me starting it right now, um, this is at uh, a setting one. It has so much vibration. Um, obviously, you dual action polisher. It goes back and forth. It doesn't like, you know, spin on a, on a single um, access, but this thing moves around a lot when when you turn up the speed to around level three um it balances out a little bit better but i'm telling you right now the vibration of this machine really fatigues your hand like it, it feels like you're getting like arthritis in your hand because you're trying to control this thing keep it steady and the vibration that like goes through your, through your hand um is very <laughs> uncomfortable and uh I, I, since I don't have anything to compare it to, I may be thinking maybe this is all dual action polishers, but I'm, I'm willing to bet that maybe a, a higher end, uh, a higher end machine wouldn't have that um, type of vibration. Uh, so uh, the mistakes that I'm doing right now, guys, is that I don't have the machine, um, the speed of the machine high enough. I set it to a medium speed, which is like um, the third setting. And the uh, the compounds that that I use, um, they need to, they have a certain RPM that they need to be um, utilized to create heat and friction and to get all the swirls are off. And um, this machine, um, like I said, when you crank it all the way high, it starts to, it feels very, very unstable. And uh, right now, I'm not going slow enough. My passes, it's 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 too fast. I need to slow down. And uh, that's, it didn't create the finish that I wanted um, off the bat. So I had to redo this over again because the finish, it still, it still um, showed a lot of swirl marks. So with this dual action polisher, it's, it's more difficult with, than a polisher to burn through the paint. So you can uh, go slower. Um, this is kind of like a speed that I would utilize with my polisher uh, with a, you know, with higher RPM. But with this machine, I should have um, done it a lot slower and put some little bit more pressure. This is kind of hard putting the pressure down on top of a hood in the center. But um, um, right now we're putting some polish, um, the the polishing um, onto the uh, onto the panel now. Anyway, I'm going too fast. I, sh I, sh I need to slow down and uh, um, I need to increase the speed. But like I said, increasing the speed it makes it a lot more difficult to, for, to hold on to the machine. So like right now, this this speed that I'm going right now is perfect for it. Um, and this is the speed that you should go with a kind of a 50-50 overlap um, from each pass. And uh, like I said, guys, um, I, would I get this machine again? I probably wouldn't. Um, I did detail the whole, the half of the car it took a lot longer than my polisher and half, but it did give me the same results. Halfway through, I gave up and used my DeWalt to finish off the car because I was running out of time. But the 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 finish that I got was the same. It just took a lot longer. So, um, but for for you know 50, 60 bucks, you can create a show quality finish with a Harbor Freight polisher. Um, will it last forever? I don't really think so, but, um, this is coming from someone that's not professional. Cause what I hate with a lot of the professional detailers is they're very critical because they do it every single day. I don't do it every single day. And would I recommend this, um, for someone that's just wanted to make their, you know, their car paint look great. Yeah, absolutely. This is a steal. Um, if you're only going to be dealing, detailing a couple cars a year um, it, it works completely fine, but, um, for a professional, probably not. Um, like I said, it took a long time to detail half of the car. Um, and then the other half I went and I, I just finished it off with my DeWalt. 
anyway, guys, this is the result. As you can see, this is a uh, panel right now. Um, the upper panel of the quarter was not um, uh, polished, but I, I really can't get the the camera to focus right here. But as you can see the difference, you can see the difference between, uh, you know, the swirl marks on the corner and this part of the corner that I got done. And anyway, with that being said, here is an intro to uh, the car show and the results of the uh, uh, of the detail. Otherwise, it's that awkward pause. And then we're all sitting around waiting for no reason. If the person who wins is not here, but you are their friend or family, take the trophy on their behalf. We're not Amazon, we don't ship, and hey. we're in a different city every weekend. TSA will not let us fly with all of these. Otherwise, we'll leave it here at the track, and hopefully they come pick it up. And also, if, if I happen to, if, I, if you win, and I mispronounce your name, it is nothing personal. Maybe your handwriting sucks, and I couldn't read what was down there, or maybe I'm just half illiterate. Either way, we're going to have fun with it. And if a name's like super close, if you're like, oh yeah, best scion, that sounds so close to my name, it's probably you. All right, kill it. Come on. Uh -oh. Come on. See, see the dogs? Come on. See Say it's something. Hard. It's a friend. I want to win. I want to win. I want to win. You got Mazda? I want to win. I think Mazda. Mazda. Best Mazda here. Ooh, another. Oh, I'm so going to mispronounce your name. Yes. Michael. Ah!